Correct. What are we learning down in Washington ahead of what's meant to be a straightforward vote? Yeah, it doesn't look so straightforward anymore, Jonathan. You're seeing the top Senate Banking Committee Republican, Senator Pat Toomey, who for weeks we have heard his reserves and concerns over Sarah Bloom Raskin to take up one of the top posts in terms of banking regulation on the Fed, that they want to potentially try to block this nomination. And really a key question that we need to be asking is, how is this going to go forward? Because if they're able to block her nomination, does what does this mean for the others, like Chair Jerome Powell and um, Lael Brainard, will those nominations still go through, or will they get the Democrats on board to potentially put aside the nomination of Sarah Bloom Raskin so they can get the other remainder four nominees through? This is looking to be very tricky in terms of the White House's Fed nominations at the moment. Do you think outside of Sarah Bloom Raskin at the moment, from the reporting that you guys are doing down in Washington, are any other picks in trouble here? I don't think so at the moment. There is bipartisan support for, or there was, for the Fed chair. I would say potentially his nomination, although it looks likely that it's going to go through, potentially the last week or so, there's been just question marks about is the Fed moving in the right direction? And that, Jonathan, comes down to the data. And that was because we saw a 7.5% inflation handle.